Hey everyone, I'm Grand Holland. Well, I have a bit of a conundrum. You see, I need to have a new game to Let's Play, and I have a number that are on my list of games that I want to, but none of them is really jumping up and down going, Me! Me! Do me! Do me! So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to play the, uh, what is it, five minute trial of four or five different indie games, and then I'm going to let you guys vote in the comments, and whichever game has the most votes is the one I'm going to Let's Play next. I'll tally them up on Friday, and, uh, Friday evening. I'm going to say, Friday at midnight, Pacific Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, whichever one has the most votes at Friday, midnight, Pacific Standard Time. Or is it Daylight Time? I can never remember. Pacific Time is going to be the one that I Let's Play next. So, without further ado, our first contender is Abin Hawkins and the Thousand Spikes. So, yes. I have to... what? Yes? Didn't realize I had a file. Anyway, um... This game is what you might call cheap. Oh dear. Can, can I double jump? Ah! Evidently not. So, um, yes, it's a platformer. Hmm. I have hit a brick wall already. Awesome. So, yes, you start out with a thousand lives. And... Oh, okay. Ow. <laughs> yeah, this is a very many deaths type of game. I just realized that you hit Y to jump higher. Okay, so I can't decoy that guy. Gotcha. <laughs> it's helpful when I actually make that jump. Which I apparently can do easily enough with Y. Gotcha. I don't know how I'm standing on that block right now. All I know is I'm, I am, and I'm happy about it. Alright, so... Hop. Hop. I'm going to presume I need this thing. So, none of these statue guys has his mouth open, which means they're safe for me to fall past. Hey, what do you know? Alright, so. Push this thing over here. Then use it to lift myself up there. And grab the key, which will let me exit when the uh, time comes. Ah! Okay, so mouth open isn't the indicator. Well, that's good to know. Stage 1 2, awesome, okay. Dang. Uh, this game is kind of cheap, as I said, but with a bit of trial and error game play, maybe I should jump there, uh, it can be beaten. So, that's what we're going to do. Also, it loves to tell you that you are dead. Ah. Can I fall down before that thing? Can I not get killed by that thing? <laughs> no, I can't fall down before that. Okay. Good to know. So, fall down here. And... Oh, I thought he was going to keep going as fast as that. Uh. 
So, fall down here again. And... Kill me some scorpions. Alright. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Wait, did I say surprised? I meant not surprised in the slightest. Okay. Ah! Uh. Um... <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I can get through there, guys. Yeah, that, with, the, with the one stuck on the edge and the one dashing back and forth as fast as he could go, I couldn't get through there. Kinda cheap. Not gonna lie. Kinda cheap. Alright, so anyway, back over this way. And I can't make that. Dang. Okay. So, this time they're playing nice. Ish. Okay, don't fall on him. Gotcha. No, that's a good lesson to be learned with any scorpions. But, you know, I, I couldn't resist that siren song of GET OVER HERE! And I shouldn't have thrown my knives quite so quickly at him. Oh well. Alright, down elevator. And... Okay. Ha ha! Eh, I can be humane to him. Um... Can I just bypass these? I CAN JUST BYPASS THEM?! Well, that would've been nice to know! Jeez! So, stage 1-3. Show me some fallen brawl- I don't know what word I was about to say there. I should've said blocks, but there was an R in it somehow. Blocks. So, there's one safe part on there, but I have to get there, which is the trick. It's not a safe part. Okay. Oh, boy. So, need to wait for a time when those two will be open, like now. Ow. I figured the one that I was jumping onto was going to be the uh, one to have spikes pop out of it. But anyway, time has expired. Time to move on to another game. The second game on the roster is Along Came a Spider. We're going to press A to start. New game. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. That level just exploded before we even got there. So, level one. We play as a spider, as you may have guessed. And we press A to jump. And we, we get to lighted areas to um, have checkpoints. And we cause those lighted areas to explode. Catch flies to unlock new levels.
So this is kind of a uh, simple platformer, but it has the appearance that it's going to get a lot crazier later in later levels, which is kind of part of the reason I want to try it. So, yes, what do you guys think? Vote with your comments. So yeah, level one, ah, uh, is our basic tutorial level. And apparently I do not have the jumping dexterity that Spider-Man does. And I can't climb on red stuff. Good to know. Good to know. And finished! This caused, le caused level 6 to explode? Weird. X near ends to hook on silk. Whee! Press X again to let go. And I can even hook on silk to the red things. Awesome. So, yes, we are continuing to be a spider. We're continuing to hunt for flies. As we continue on with our sinister looking eyes toward the web at the end of the level. Now, seriously, these eyes are sinister looking. Like, not looking like Mr. Sinister, but. keep forgetting that the uh, uh, webbing isn't a hold X thing, it's a until you press X again. It's a toggle thing, yes. That's what it is. A toggle thing. Uh-oh. I see something I need to collect. So, let's see if I can't Swing out there! Hmm. I appear to be having difficulties. Get over here, fly! Dang. Okay, let's try this from a different approach. Huh? Oh. Huh? Ha ha! And. I managed to make it all the way up. Excellent. Whoops. <laughs> I'm glad I thought to hook on the silk there. So, off in this direction we find... What's down there? What is down here? Ha <laughs> ha! I'm glad I thought to wonder about that. So, anyway, back to what we were doing. And we cross the spinning blocks that we can't climb, which is super dangerous. Do not try this at home, even if you are a spider. Oh good, there's no fly under the star. <laughs> I was somewhat concerned about that. Ah, okay. We're good, we're good. We're not good anymore. Fortunately, this game has checkpoints. And no life counter. So we can die as often as we want. Or, more likely, more often than we want. We 
spider bungee jumping is the best. We Okay. So enough of that. Ah, I wanted to cling to the top of the red spike. But I guess it was not meant to be. At least not until this thing rotates back over there. Why are these webs rotating anyway? That's what I want to know. And bounce up. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, right. I can't climb these things. Oh dear. Okay. Um, how am I going to do this? I don't have enough momentum to do that. Ha! Cheating! That's how I'm going to do it. Ha ha! Like I said, cheating. And this music is kind of trippy. Like, there aren't a lot of adjectives that describe it better than trippy. Whee! But then, this is kind of a trippy game. I mean, you're playing as a spider. Not a dude with the powers of a spider. Not... I don't know, something else that would be something other than a spider. You're playing as a spider. And... Time expired. Excellent. Okay. I say excellent because that was right when I was running out of things in the trial to do. So anyway, on to our next competitor. Our third contender evidently comes from Monster Jail Games, which has a weird looking logo and his laser cat so we are going to begin our futuristic adventure at the edge of the solar system with something that sounds like Tetris music in the background but isn't quite we're going space onions and astro I don't didn't actually pay attention enough the owl's gone and the wizard who is a magical space frog has taken him and wants one million pounds sterling so we have to go rescue him and this game to me at least I don't know any about anyone else but to me it looks a lot like V V V V V V V I had it right the first time. Okay. I had to count on my fingers for a second. So, got another checkpoint, which is also a warp. And I'm just exploring for a moment, you know, like you do. And you can't jump down through things that you can jump up through, sadly. There's another checkpoint, but it's on the wrong side of a pit of lava. And I can't jump down through stuff, so I can't go over that way. So, time to go back up here. And over here. And hey, there's that checkpoint again. And what's over here? Over here is a pit that I'm trying to navigate, but there's stuff in the way. And I don't know why I was trying to navigate that pit. I can't fall through that block there. Oh well. So I guess this way is not the way I must go. Huh. Oh, I can fall through them. I was hitting the wrong button. Okay. Never mind. I am crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's a dude here. 
They ate... Hello, Troll 2 reference. How are you today? Hmm... This reminds me of a spike trap from Zelda. And it's avoided in the exact same way, too. Be careful! Ha 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 ha! It's funny because these are bees! Whee! Alright. We now have a key! However, in order to get a key, we have to answer a riddle. What is considered to be the most dangerous large animal in Africa? Well... Polar bears aren't very well represented in Africa, and giraffes are just too peaceful. But hippos are... Hippos are silly looking, it couldn't possibly be that. It totally is that. So, we bring the key over to a checkpoint, which there's one down here. And we continue looking for keys, because we need 30 of them. Well, we need 29 now. Well, we need 29 more. So, we just keep exploring. I don't know why Shatner talked for a moment there. But I did. And there's nothing you can do about it. Except, I suppose, maybe... Something. I don't know. I've been here already. <sighs> Dang. What does this say, anyway? Oh, yeah. Okay. So that was a checkpoint. Hooray! Where have all the bees gone? Into this room, apparently. And as with uh, V V V V V V, once again, counting on my fingers. <laughs> uh, each room has a separate name. Its own distinct name, in fact. This room wants me to go home. Well, nope, I don't have Owl yet, so I can't go home. However, I can avoid knives. Oh dear! Ah! I didn't avoid that knife. I exploded. That knife made me explode. I don't like exploding. But it happens sometimes when I don't get my taquitos. Hey, what do you know? Another key! And another riddle. In what year did the Battle of Hastings take place? Well, it's not going to be 2066, because that hasn't happened yet. Unless it's a question about fiction. But it's not a question about fiction. I know my history. Well, I know some about history. And it's not 1966, because it's not. The Battle of Hastings was considered the final hurrah for the uh, military power of Norway. And it took place in 1066. What? I can't know history? That cat died because he forgot to brush his teeth. Well, he forgot to brush his gums. He may have brushed his teeth. But he just neglected the gums. Some people, you know. Oh no! If I die holding a key, I lose it! What was the prison island Alcatraz also referred to as? And we have a list of three Nicolas Cage movies. Very cute. So... We need 27 more keys. And we've already got three of them. And I haven't even glanced at the map yet. Because I am horribly lost. <laughs> I 
Oh, time has expired. So, if you want to see me play more Laser Cat, vote for it! On to our next competitor. Our next candidate, if you will. Tempura of the Dead. New game. Yes. So it's the year 20x team. The United States is in fatal trouble. Uh, am I supposed to hit a button? Looks that way. Okay. Zombies everywhere! Even right behind you right now! Look out! I wonder how many people actually looked. Gates, huh? I wonder who Gates is, because Thompson is apparently the president. And there's a samurai who's killing zombies. And the president is going to kick some ass. So, I guess Gates was the vice president. Oh no, he's a presidential aide. But then why is he in command? That That's not how politics works. So, the president jumps out of a helicopter with a Tommy gun. This is going to be an awesome game. Oh no, the samurai got hit! So... <laughs> the zombies revive. And then we save the souls of the zombies? <laughs> so we have to... Cut off the head, and then juggle the head. Excellent. That, that is... That is not going to be ridiculous at all. And it is not ridiculous at all. And Bushido doesn't care if you're holding a sword, or a machine gun. So, we've got a team-up of the president with a machine gun and a samurai. Awesome. And... Oh. And if I fail to juggle the, the head sufficiently... then they get back up. Or so it appears. Ah. It's harder to do than it looks. Hey! Okay. Hmm. I, I hit the, the fire button. Why didn't it fire? Oh well. Dang it. So, if my combo for juggling heads gets high enough, I get one-ups for every time I juggle them. Once again, I say, this is not ridiculous at all. And... yes. I I'm kind of wondering what's with the, um... the mighty Sarlaccs littering the street, but... I'm already 
living in a zombie world. Really, how much more can I question? And... yes. I just don't want to deal with this guy. This, this game just hands out one-ups. A lot. And... not sure I want to deal with this ghost. Not sure I have a choice. Alright, well... Come on, ghost. Come on. Ha! Uh, what? Oh. Okay, so. Back to, um, doing this. So I killed all the Sarlacc things, and that cleared the stage. Excellent. On to level two. And... Let's see... Can resume... Ah! I hit uh, Y to change characters. It would appear that Mr. Samurai Guy has a higher jump. And his attack is slightly slower after the uh, button press. And is way shorter range. So I'm gonna let uh, President Thompson take care of that guy. Uh, Dang. Combos are hard to do with, uh... whatever Samurai Guy's name was. Did... Oh! Okay. So the stopping in midair to swing the sword thing is specific to Samurai. Are there... healths... uh... shared? Anyway, sadly, I can't get more than four healths. And also, sadly, time has expired. What? Hey! Cancel! Belay that order! Anyway, um, so yes, that's the... Fourth? I think? I think I did four. Yeah, I did four. Okay. Sorry, I had to run through them in my head for a moment. <laughs> uh, I'm getting senile in my old age. Uh, anyway, those are the four uh, games you can vote on. Abin Hawkins and the Thousand Spikes, Along Came a Spider, Laser Cat, and Tempura of the Dead. They all seem pretty nifty to me. I leave it up to you guys. Which one do you want to see? Eventually, I'm probably going to do all four of them, but the voting is more to see which one I'm going to do first. So, yeah. Help me decide. Voting ends midnight Pacific time on Friday.